Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Now, as you can tell by the title, this is not a tutorial. However, I'm gonna go over the essentials that every beginner barber needs. Now, I'm not more so gonna focus on the clippers and the trimmers. I'm gonna focus more on sanitation. So first off, the thing that you need more than anything is barbicide. This is mainly used to disinfect your combs, your shears, your picks, and your razor blade. Barbicide is a hospital grade disinfectant and you can find this anywhere from Amazon to your local beauty supply store to eBay. Next, still mainly dealing with sanitation, is your Germex or some type of hand sanitizer. It's important to clean your hands after each client because you don't want to transfer germs or any loose hair onto another client. That could potentially cause a breakout or something catastrophic. Next is the Clipper side. Or they have many versions of this, but this is just the brand I use. You can get Cool Care. Um, there's also some called Marvicide, if I'm not mistaken. There's a lot of different brands, but this is just the kind that I use. The reason that I use this one is because Cool Care, I found out that that oxidized my blades a lot faster. And this is also a disinfectant, a lubricant. It cleans, cools, and it's, it prevents your blades from rusting. Next on the list is Blade Wash. Now this is not the original bottle that this came in, but I just found this easier to use. So I use this after every three or four cuts. And what this does is it gets rid of all the sludge in your clippers. So any loose hair that you have or dirt or just uh, gunk that you have built up in your blades, this will take it right out of the blades. So you just tilt your clipper sideways and it'll wash it right out. Now the next essential is alcohol or some type of astringent. And the reason you want to use this is because you want to make sure that the client's skin is clean and free of all hair and dirt before they get out of your chair. I think this one is pretty much self-explanatory. Next on the list, we have a duster. And these, this list is not in, it's not in any particular order, by the way. But this is also self-explanatory. You want to make sure that you dust off any client. You don't want any loose hair on them when they leave out of your chair. So, Next on the list is neck strips. You always want to make sure that you use a neck strip. Don't ever put a cape on anyone without putting a neck strip first. So basically this just creates a barrier between the client's skin and the cape. Make sure you have an abundance of neck strips. Now this last item, now this is not mandatory. However, it's more so of a preference thing and this is gloves. Some people have sweaty hands or some people just, if you're like me, I don't use gloves all the time, which is why I clean my hands so much. But if you don't want to touch, if you don't want hair touching your hands, gloves is a, it's a really good alternative. So they're very inexpensive. You can pick these up off of Amazon, eBay, anywhere. And one more thing that I almost forgot to mention, good lighting. Lighting is the most important factor for a barber. The worst thing you can do is have bad lighting because once they go outside into the natural light, you can see any imperfections in the haircut. So you wanna make sure that you have the best lighting as possible so it doesn't matter what angle that you turn the client, you want to be able to see good on all sides. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to share this with any other young barbers that you know. And I will see you guys on the next video.